What is going on viewers of YouTube Sunspot here and I am back with another unboxing. Now I've had this for a couple days already. You, you already know what it is by the thumbnail and the title. It is obviously the Hot Toys. Um, I think it's the, is it the Toy Fair exclusive disco? I, I pre-ordered this guy so long ago, literally. It's been a couple months. So yeah, and I just received this a um, couple days ago. I think two days ago, and I've just been waiting to have the time to actually not only open it, but open it on camera. So I had to, you know, clean my room, set everything up. It's a lot of work, trust me. Just because if you guys watched my last project display video, yeah, you'll understand why. But just to show you guys, I don't want to show you guys the uh, shipping label and stuff here, but yeah. So, shipper is pretty generic, MMS371, and it is the Iron Man 3 Mark 27, that's right, it's the 27, I keep forgetting, so many armors, so, yeah, let's just see what lies inside, I did take a sneak peek, I always do, just to make sure the box isn't damaged or anything, you never know, but, you know, this one's directly from Sideshow, Nowhere all, no other way to get it really. I mean, technically you can get it from private sellers after it's released, but you know, they go for a lot of money. And I didn't know if this was going to be valuable or not. So there he is. Very pretty box. Let me actually just take it out of the. Let me have my uh, my cutting tool over here, as I like to call it. Just open this guy up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a mix of the War Machine. Python and I think a bit of shotgun. So, and I don't have shotgun yet actually. So I'm this is gonna be a partially new figure for me. Exciting, exciting people. Take this guy out and here officially is God damn it won't close. Check that out. I think that's really pretty, honestly. Here give a closer look there. I think it's a pretty box. A lot of people are hating on this. I'm not sure why. Um, people just, I guess, hate the color scheme. I think it's cool, mainly because I'm colorblind, and these are very easy to distinguish between, so... And yeah, it does have the Sideshow exclusive sticker. Very, very pretty. So, overall, cool box. I really like these boxes. Very reminiscent of the Python, actually. So let's take a look, and wow, he's pretty. So, oh my god, I hate when these get stuck. It's so annoying. Um, wow, you're pretty. So yeah, Shotgun, Mark 7, uh, and War Machine. So I could just show you guys this right here. Very, very pretty. Loving that. Let's just open this guy up, though. Let's see how he actually is. I really like the box of this, by the way. It's just so cool. I've actually been wanting a Hot Toys disco since Iron Man 3 was released. When I first saw all... The pictures online of all the different armors. I've just, I've wanted a disco armor, and I finally got one. It took quite a lot of years. Not gonna lie, because 2016 now ended 2016. So let's just say four years. It took him four years. Uh, you know, let me get the stand and stuff out first. I like to get the big stuff out of the way. I don't think the stand is uh, very unique. Just yeah, it's just the the generic stand with the bendable uh, the bendable rod for flight stands flight position sorry and of course the batteries and stuff open this up God, the struggle is real right now okay yep so batteries check nothing too fancy there the grip, obviously, with the uh, cushion on the inside so you don't scratch it. What's this? I truly don't know what that is. Um, obviously, you know, the bendable rod, whatever. Um, and the non-light-up stand. This comes with basically every Iron Man figure um, that's from the Iron Legion now. I wish they were a bit fancier, but they do work really well if you're going to buy the Hall of Armor, you know, the bases. So these definitely match them. I don't know if they connect to them, but... Even if you don't have them, you know, it definitely matches that. And, obviously, the instructions, which I don't think I'll read. You know, I own, like, 30 Iron Man figures. I think I know how to handle them. I mean, for this guy over here, it was different. 
because he's completely new, like I said in my review. Alright, now let's take a look at this guy. See how pretty he really is. Hello. That is really nice, actually. Okay. So, taking out all the hands. They're, uh, that's weird. They're really sticky. Now, these are fine. It's the uh, rubberized ones that are sticky. But, yeah. So, let me just show you guys the accessories. Put this down. Don't know why they're sticky. That's really annoying. So, he does come with these shoulder missiles. Right there. Trying to focus. Nothing too fancy. Comes with the articulated fingers for the hands. Trying to... Yeah, so... You know, pretty generic. And the repulsor blasting hands, which I don't know why, but they're sticky. Very, very sticky, actually. I have to put them separate, actually. So that is freakishly weird and uncomfortable, but they seem okay. And now for the big guy himself. Hello. Let me take all the cushioning and stuff off him. Yeah, he's really, really nice. Get all the cushioning off him. Yes, you're so pretty! This guy is really, really nice. I love his um, the design of his arms and legs. Obviously, it's shotgun. Head is very beautiful, too. I'll put all the... Wow, that guy's obnoxious. So there's this one kid down the street that drives past my house like every day with that freakishly loud, mo loud motorcycle and I want to stab him. Anyway, <laughs> this is him. Pretty. Very, very shiny. A little bit different of a paint job than I'm normally used to with the Iron Man and I'm honestly preferring it. Very, very shiny and reflective. So, give you guys an even closer look at that. I think that's really great. Very pretty armor. And let's just test his articulation, make sure everything's okay. Everything seems fine, very smooth, no loose joints, no paint smears anywhere. Seems okay. Ooh, double jointed legs, I didn't know that. I thought it was just one, which I thought was weird at first, but hey, that solves it. Man, this makes me even more excited for the shotgun. That's probably going to be cool. In fact, I will actually have to read the instructions because I don't know where the batteries go in his arms. So that's pretty. Let's check out. Oh, the air flaps are, you know, pretty much exactly like the Mark 7. Got to remove these little, these little pieces just to show you guys. Exactly like the Mark 7. Who has been reused God knows how many times. The latest one is Sub-Zero. So, yeah, this figure... It is really, really nice. I love this so much. Kind of want this on my desk, but I think he should be with his brothers in the Iron Legion. It's only fair. I wish they would really start uh, doing the uh, lights at the bottom of the feet. That would be kind of cool. I know they did that with the Armored Leashed uh, Mark II way back in the day, but that was a while ago, and they never did it again, you know, which kind of sucks, but hey. So this guy is just really nice. Loving what they did with this. Don't know why people are hating on it. It's a really nice figure. Check that out. Isn't that just badass? I'm probably going to review this guy. So hopefully even today. If I have the time, I'll definitely review this today. I really want to get done with all the uh, Power Ranger reviews, uploading and stuff. But I could definitely film this today. So... Wow, look at the shoulders, too. I mean the elbows, sorry. The elbows, like, check that out. They're so pointy. That's awesome. Very pretty figure. Very pretty figure, indeed. It's awesome. But yeah, there you go. I think I pretty much covered the basics with this guy. You could do, a, wow, you could do a lot of cool poses with this. Just because... Man, this is going to stand out in my collection so much because 
Um, it's not specifically um, the paint scheme with the blue and orange, because I have plenty of blue armors, I have plenty of yeah um, orange armors in my collection, but this is the real, really the first Iron Man figure I have with this really crazy glossy paint job, um, which is another reason I'm excited for the Mark 45. So they're really doing something new, which is just a uh, breath of fresh air. So love the little scrapes and scuffs all over this guy. I can can his is his chest removable? It should be. It definitely should be because the Mark Seven's chest was removable. You just got to be very very delicate. Yeah, so it's removable. Check that out. Not gonna display him like this, but you know it's nice that they added that. Very very pretty. And obviously these little pieces on his side are removable too. So, yeah, he can do everything the Mark 7 can, which is nice. I'm glad they didn't remove anything. And he's just going to look super badass when uh, when he's all lit up with his shoulder missiles activated. and Just going to look very, very badass. So, with that said, people, if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Check out my site at sunspotreviews.com, and I will see you guys in my next video.